The National Sports Club survey provides a snapshot of the operation and management of New Zealand's community sports clubs. The NSCS is a collaboration between AUT Sprints and the New Zealand Amateur Sport Association. Each year, every sport club in New Zealand is invited to complete an online survey. In addition to exploring general topics such as the financial, membership and governance status of a club, we also include other topics that are important to New Zealand community sport. One such topic we've been actively working with various codes on is focused how community sports clubs can be more responsive to Māori. I think one of the great things we've seen in sport over the last few years is the integration of all cultures and particularly the use of tikanga Māori as well as the reo. I mean haka is, is a familiar sight for men and women across all codes these days. But going further in terms of biculturalism is fantastic as it acknowledges Māori as the tangata whenua, as the people of this land. And with that comes um, a lot of elements around cultural safety for the um, code or the sports club, etc. that's incorporating it. And just the depth of knowledge, identity and belonging of the players. Even those who don't necessarily whakapapa to tipuna Māori or don't have Māori ancestry are going to benefit from knowing the culture of this land, knowing the history of the land that they play on, the history of the land that they represent, and the people and the names that they carry, not only regionally, nationally, and internationally. And you just see the pride. That's our uniqueness here in Aotearoa. As someone who's come from a rugby background, I've found the results knowing the results of the National Sports Club survey to be absolutely beneficial, especially in terms of tikanga and kaupapa Māori. Coming from Ngāti Pro East Coast Rugby Union, the only iwi-based team in the world, you know, we, we did take a lot for granted um, in terms of our confidence to enact, um, to put into practice the real and Māori culture. So seeing for me how embedded it's become across codes and across clubs in New Zealand's fabulous, not just in terms of the real, um, but understanding the value of the, the land you play on, the water you swim in or paddle on, row on, etc., um, is fantastic as a person who plays sport um, here in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Another benefit of the results of the survey in the long term is going to be the confidence people gain from seeing how other people are doing it. Um, people that are not in predominantly Māori communities having the, the confidence to acknowledge the diversity of Aotearoa New Zealand, the role of Māori as tangata whenua and that it can be done, you know, whether it's just a small action of starting to say kia ora, or doing a mihi at an after match um, or getting in someone from the local iwi to come and do the welcome for you. It's just fantastic and I can't wait to see the results in years to come. Community clubs are increasingly facilitating a welcoming environment for the Māori community. The National Sport Club Survey have captured insights about clubs that are doing this. Although there is much more work to be done, it's well worth highlighting good practice. The NZASA's Matariki Award acknowledges one of New Zealand's community sports clubs that are doing great things in this space. This year the award went to the Ōtaki Surf Life Saving Club. We've just finished our project of translating the website, uh, the homepage specifically, into Te Reo Māori. Ōtaki is almost 50% Māori speaking uh, members and half of that 50% are probably bilingual. So it seemed only right that we provide some of our content to that particular portion of the population. I'm serving on the uh, club committee and I'm the publicity officer for the club and at one of our meetings we discussed where we wanted to see ourselves in a couple of years time and we were all asked to give one idea and put that forward and I thought why don't we have bilingual content uh, especially the, as we are based in you know a very bicultural town. With some advice from some members of the community we contacted a local translator Henny Jacob. We've got a lot more work to do we've only done the home page and our name uh, we'd like to go deeper into the site content we're continuing to work with Henny and actually the work that Henny's done to date, she's done completely free of charge, which is complete, you know, amazingly generous. Um, and that was her contribution, you know, her kids came through Surf Club, 
Otaki Club specifically and, and she wanted to give back, so that was amazing. Mm -hmm.